Hi guys, in this video I would like to show you how easy you can convert your MQX into an FPV flyer. The following parts are needed. The standard battery for your MQX, your transmitter which is here a DXA, and the main part which is here a 5.8 200mW video transmitter and a nano camera. You will also need a one cell battery which I've got here from another blade helicopter. These are the Fatshark Dominator video goggles and the TBS 5.8 receiver and a battery. So here you see all the parts which are needed and I'll start with the setup. So here I just put together the goggles and the good thing about the TBS receiver is that you have all four bands so it's very easy to just plug in, connect and it works as you can see. You just have to search for your channel. As a battery holder I just use a broken landing skin from another blade helicopter so I just put away the parts which I don't use with some pliers so it's very easy to do and, and then afterwards I just glue it with some CA on just beside on the other side of, of the battery so it's a very simple quick fix and the MQX doesn't mind that the center of gra gravity is a little off I will first degrease the part where I want to glue on the battery with a nail polish of my girlfriend. So here I try to degrease it. It just holds better and this is the CA I've used. So I just put a little CA on it and then it's very quick. You just put it there and that's it. Some patience of course is needed. Here's a close-up view so you can see it a little better. For the video sander I use two velcro straps trying to have some airflow in between. I don't know if that helps at all. These are wire ties which you normally use for cables to store them. And it works okay. Uh, I do have some vibration in the video. So maybe you come up with a better idea. So. Please put your comments below and uh, if you have a better idea I would like to hear it. I, as you can see I just fixed it on the arms of the MQX. Uh, again it's very simple and uh, it just didn't come up with a better idea. So here in a close-up you can see the camera. It's a very tiny nano camera, 420 video or TV lines. You can find all the specs of the parts used in my description down below. This is foam tape to mount the video sender and this shall help to reduce the vibration in the video. And it does actually help. The video sender I not just use velcro but also CA to glue the velcro on the vibration dampening tape. I was qu quite surprised how good it all holds with just a little glue and nothing is screwed down or so. But those two batteries do their job and I get about seven to eight minutes flight time. So that's very respectable and I'm happy with it. It's good to throw your quad around in the garden. So I'm all set, it works. And here I do some test flying whether the little MQX can handle the weight and there's really no problem. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, here you will see some little test flights. Here you go, I put on the goggles and go outside for a test flight. Cat got scared. So the first test flight worked quite well. 
I do have some vibration in the goggles, but on this little quad, I think that's really uh, you can't avoid that. But as you can see here, I'm throwing it around in the garden, and it was the first FPV flight with it, really. And on this little, very tiny little machine, it it was very stable and it works very good, good and handles crashes very good. So it's really good for for testing your equipment. So. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and see you next time.